What is going on? Brandon Epstein here from Mental Fitness Training. And today I'm gonna to share with you exactly how to manifest what you want through your meditation practice. Now this is something I get asked about all the time and I use it literally every single day in my life to manifest the money I want, the work relationships I want, the projects I want, the relationships I want, the physical health I want. Across the board, I use this for everything because once you understand the principles of manifestation and how to use them within your meditation practice, you understand that all it is is getting into alignment with what you really want. And all that means is we're aligning with the energies of what you really want. So before I give you the exact protocol of how to do this, let's drop in together. Because usually when we're in this thinking mind and we're thinking our way into creating what we want, we're only accessing our conscious mind. And that conscious mind can only process around six bits of information per second. I want you accessing your subconscious mind, which processes over 40 million bits of information per second. So let's ground ourselves here in the present moment by taking a few deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. So let's start together. Breathe in deeply through the nose and feel your stomach rise. Out through the mouth. Stomach falls, shoulders drop and relax. And again, breathing in deeply through the nose. Exhaling fully, this time allowing your face to soften, your jaw to relax. And if you haven't closed your eyes, close them now. And one more deep breath in through the nose. Exhale and allow all the tension to be released from your body. And allow yourself to be here right now. Okay, so now that we've grounded ourselves in the present moment, this is a place where we can really make some progress, get aligned with our energies, and create what we want. So the information I'm gonna share with you today is something that I wish we all would have learned when we were in school. This is like stuff that you should learn when you're in preschool, elementary school, middle school, high school. It's so fundamental, but no one ever teaches it to us. And the reason why I teach this through mental fitness training, because this is just a type of training for your mind to create you what you want in the world. And so we go throughout our lives and people say, oh yeah, you gotta do this type of exercise and eat this way to create the physical body that you want. But no one really tells you how to train your mind to get the results that you want. So that's what this is here. This is just a protocol for training your mind to get what you want. So what I recommend for you is you can follow any of the meditations on this channel or you can simply just sit down in quiet, close your eyes, and do a few deep breaths like the ones we just did. And once you get your eyes closed and you drop into this relaxed state, and you can do different types of protocols, or you can just do something like breathing. And once you get into this relaxed state and you're able to start to access this subconscious mind, all you need to do is begin to imagine your life in the future, sometime in the future. and. I think it's good, you don't have to make it realistic, but so we feel energetically aligned with it. Sometimes it's helpful to picture this one to three years in the future. So you feel like you have ample time to create what you want. And so let's say it's one year in the future. With your eyes closed, you begin to go through the sensory experience of living a day in the life that's been manifested exactly as you want it. So we all say we want these different things, but we don't necessarily get clarity about it. So I want you to go through a day with your eyes closed right now from start to finish and really live what that's like. Living that moment from what does it feel like to wake up in the morning? What is your physical health like? When you look in the mirror, how do you look? When you start your day, do you have urgency or do you feel peace? Who's waking up with you in the morning? Is there someone in your bed with you? Or are you alone? What kind of work are you going into? When you go to the ATM or you go out to eat, how do you feel about money? How much money do you see in the ATM? Or when you go to like pull out your credit card and buy yourself lunch, do you feel comfortable or do you feel anxious? Right? And so we want to really picture all of this in our mind exactly as we'd like it to be. And as you go through this process of visualizing exactly what you want in your mind or through your mind's eye, imagine seeing it all, but then smelling it all and then tasting it all, and then hearing it all, and then touching it all. So bringing all five senses in to experience this as if it's real, stepping into it as if it's real here and now. And what you're doing here is by stepping into it and experiencing all those senses, 
you're telling your mind that this is a reality that you want to bring to fruition. And the reason why this works is because your mind is kind of a magnet, right? What it does is it picks up whatever we're constantly feeding it. And so if I told you right now, you know, don't think of red. What do you think of? You think of red. And if I told you to go into a room and I said, don't look at anything red, you're going to notice red, whether it's positive or negative. So whatever you're feeding your mind constantly, your mind is looking for how to create this. And so it's opening up the possibilities. So there's a whole quantum field and energy, and I can talk about all of that, but I want to appeal to your rational mind and explain to you that when you're feeding your mind every single day, the sensory experience of what you want to create, your mind is going to actively start to look for that in the world and it's going to start to try to create it for you because it wants to be in alignment with this programming it's receiving on the subconscious level. Because remember, when we go into that meditative state, where we're able to get into that subconscious mind, we're accessing 40 million bits of processing power per second. So when we're sending these messages on such a deep level, we're giving our subconscious mind the reminder that this is what I want to create. And so when you're conscious and you're working and you're going through your regular life, it's going to start to look for those opportunities and bring them in. So that's step one. You need to have that sensory experience. And I recommend that you go through this at least once a day in the morning. Ideally, do it every morning when you wake up and every night before you fall asleep. Now, in addition to that sensory experience, I want you to go through the emotional experience. So how does it feel to manifest all these things that you want? How does it feel? What are the emotional, what is the emotional experience that you're having? Are you excited? Are you peaceful? Are you, do you feel freedom? Because at the end of the day, we don't want a Lamborghini. We don't want a big house. We want the way these things make us feel or the way we think they're going to make us feel. So when you can align with the feelings you want, all the results and the outcomes are going to come to you because it all starts with the feelings. And that's really what we want anyway. So I encourage you to go beyond just thinking materially and instead, Think in a feeling intuitive way of what you want to create as far as your emotional feeling experience. And so feeling into that throughout an entire day. And every morning and every night going through that process of coming back to that and doing it through that meditation and feeding your mind this subconscious message. This is what I want. This is what I want. Because a subconscious mind learns through repetition. So the more repetitions you put in, the more likely you'll be to get that programming at the deepest level. So you go out and you find the possibilities. Now, the second part of the secret, the law of attraction for manifesting that you want to include in your meditation as well is making sure that your beliefs align with what you want to create. As long as you have limiting beliefs that say that I don't, I believe I don't deserve to be rich or I believe that rich people are bad, then you're never going to get the money that you want. So you also need to think about that vision you have. And think about the different categories and get clarity about each one. And then ask yourself what you need to believe to create those things. What beliefs you need to have. And then I recommend writing out those beliefs, all the beliefs you need to have to create what you want, recording them with your own voice, and then listening to those every morning and every night when you're waking up, when you're going to sleep. It should only take you two to three minutes getting clear on all the beliefs you need. And this also, is like self-talk that you're putting into your mind. You know, usually you have your self-talk is kind of unconscious. It just kind of floats into your head. So now you're being very, um, how do I say, you're being very deliberate. You're being very deliberate about feeding yourself the self-talk that you want. And when you do it when you're in that subconscious relaxed state through meditation, especially in the morning and at night, it's getting in there at that subconscious level and that repetition is going to make those beliefs become true. And whatever you believe to be true is true. So let's run through these steps again. You get the vision, what you want to manifest, see it clearly, sensory experience, the feelings of it, break it into categories even, get clarity exactly what you want, and then go into the belief structure of like, okay, what do I need to believe? Feed yourself that. And those are all things you need to do on the meditative level. And of course, the second thing, or the third thing rather, that isn't necessarily part of your meditation practice, 
but you gotta go do the things in the world. So you need to go into your vision and ask yourself, what are the habits that I have in place in my life to create the results and outcomes that I want? Get clear on those and then put them in your calendar, put them on your to-do list, do the things, take the actions that you need to take to create the manifestation that you've seen in your mind. So that's it. It really is that simple. If you can get into that state of repetition, if you're doing this every single day, you're gonna create what you want. See it, take action towards it, believe it, and it will become your reality. So thank you so much for watching this video today. Now, if you'd like some help with some deliberate mental fitness training, I actually have an app that I've created that I'll take you through phases that will reprogram your mind to create what you want. And so there is a method to this stuff, and I can actually take you through this process of programming your subconscious mind on a very deep level. So if you'd like some additional help with that, check out my mobile app. There's a free three-day course, it's available, linked in the description below. Go check that out right now. If you like the three free-day course, you can go on and get more additional training within the app. And if you wanna work with me personally, I'll also link up my work with me page below here. You can reach out and if it's a good fit, we can discuss working together. Finally, if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so now. It really helps grow this channel and gives me the opportunity to invest more and more heavily into this channel, making more awesome content, putting more investment into uh, the editing that I do on this channel and getting, this, uh, getting more people and teachers on this channel and basically making it the best experience possible. So thank you for watching. Again, I'm Brandon Epstein and I'll catch you in the next video.